Look at how much stuff sticks to your tires after you go to the track. All my wheels look like this. I should probably scrape it off. Ooh, racetrack rubber. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Mark, and that right there is my 2014 Mustang. Now on the last episode, I finally took this thing out to Thunder Hill West. And I ran into a couple issues and I want to talk to you guys about what I need to do to fix it. Alright, so the first issue I had with the car is actually inside in the driving here. Now, as you're going around the track, you know, going around those corners, there's lots of G-forces, and what I would have to do, I don't have a lot of bolstering on my seats. You know, these are just stock seats. And so basically, I have to hold myself in with my legs, but as you can see, my right leg here is real close to the parking brake here. So as I would row around the corner, I would bump that up a little bit. So as you can see, I'd pull up the parking brake and the light on my dash would pop on and go, hey, your parking brake's on, you need to put it back down because you're driving. Now, if we take a look at the parking brake here, it is, there's quite a gap right here. And what I want to do is either take this part and figure out how to bend this over so it's a little bit further over to the side or find a replacement handle that will put it more over here. This is quite a gap. Like, I can stick my hand in here and have this move over a little bit. It's a lot of room. So I want to see how to make this flush with probably the side of the bezel here. Isn't too big of a deal, but it is a little bit of annoying, so I want to fix that. Now, going around the track, there's a bunch of, you know, you go around corners and your body twists and everything on the car twists. Well, it turns out my exhaust twisted a little bit. And if we take a look right here, you can see this tip right here is actually up against the bottom of the bumper now. So I just need to readjust that, nothing too big of a deal. But, you know, I don't want it to melt anything. It doesn't look like it's melting right now, but it does have a little rub mark on it, so I do need to deal with that. Now, one of the bigger issues I have to deal with has to do with the rear end of the car. Now, this is the inside of one of my rear tires, and as you can see, there's a bunch of oil residue around the whole thing. Now, I don't really think it's a big deal. I did have a little bit of oil on both of the rear wheels, but I did swap out to my stock wheels and tires when I drove home. When I got home and as I looked along the way, I didn't really have any problems. I didn't see anything leaking, nothing, no big pools of oil. So I think that with the extra grip of these tires and going around the track, my axles just flexed a little bit enough just to let a little bit of oil out of the seals. It's probably about time that I need to service the rear end of my car anyway. So when I go ahead and service that, I'll probably pull the axles out and change the seals. Hopefully that'll help out a little bit. If not, I don't think it's too, that big of a deal. As long as there's enough fluid in there to keep everything nice and lubed up, should be all right. All right, so I did have another issue with the rear wheels on this car. Um, so here, I'll give you a little example of what I found was that if you do this, hey look, my center cap fell out. It's not supposed to do that. So I definitely am gonna have to get some different ones. Uh, both of them fell out, I do have both of them, but neither of them wanna stay back in the wheel anymore. So I'm gonna have to find something different. Maybe I'll get the same ones. Maybe I'll get something neat. Maybe I'll get the little Mustang ones. Or maybe I'll see if the stock ones that are on there already will fit in these. Since I don't really like the stock wheels that much, but I do like the center cap that's on these. No, it's just got a little Mustang on them. I think that would look cool on those. So, it seems like everything that has to go wrong with my car has to do with the rear end of the car. Now, as you saw in my last video, when I had this thing full of a bunch of gear and wheels and tires and extra people, it started rubbing in the back. So, when I was looking at it, it only seems to rub on the passenger side. So, what all I need to do is I'm probably gonna go ahead and adjust the pan hard bar that way I can move the axle over a little bit and I'm thinking about possibly rolling the fenders in the back you know nothing too extreme but there is a little bit of a lip here that I think I can pull out just a little bit just so it doesn't rub I don't think I'll change the way it looks but I would like to pull it out just a little bit that way I do not have any clearance issues now I did have the um, 275s on there not the 315s I had no problem no rubbing no nothing so 
but I think that's because it's on a different wheel and the offset's probably a little different, so it didn't have to rub. Now, the only real issues that I ran into on the track, other than my rear end seepage, which I guess I need to fix because nobody wants to have rear end seepage, is that my oil temperature would like to go up a little bit. Um, as I would go around the track, everything would be just fine if I was just cruising, enjoying myself, or stuck behind somebody. Uh, I didn't have any problems, but as soon as I got into it and was like really pushing it, or you know, somebody passed me and I wanted to keep up with them, um, I could drive for a little bit, but the oil temperature would slowly rise, and it started to get a little bit hot, and then my coolant temperature would start to go up with it once it started to get a little too warm. But I never had any warning lights, I didn't really see anything, so I'm not too worried about it. And as soon as I let off, the car would just cool right back down, didn't have any problems with that. Now, I did find online that Mishimoto, the same people that made my radiator that I put in the car, also makes an oil cooler kit for my car. My car has the track pack, which includes an oil cooler on it. It is a liquid to liquid oil cooler, the Mishimoto one is an oil to air, and it looks like it just like sandwiches in between your oil filter. Now what I'm thinking of doing is that I'm going to put both of them on there and then I'll have two coolers, you know, because I want to be twice as cool. You know, who doesn't want to be twice as cool? If you want to be twice as cool, hit that thumbs up button, let me know how cool you are. But I am going to have to fix that sometime this year because I definitely want to go back out to the track and I want to push this thing hard. Um, I'm probably going to move up to the next group, so hopefully there'll be a little bit less traffic in there that I'm going to have to worry about. It wasn't honestly too bad this time. I didn't get stuck in too much traffic. There was one car that didn't like to let anybody pass, which I heard from a couple other people as well. I'm not going to say who it was, but they do definitely need to learn how to let people pass on the track if you're stuck behind them. Now, if you guys want to see more of my content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I do want to thank you for watching, and I will see you next video.